Assalamualaikum and good day sir. Today our team from group 20 will be presenting about MEMS piezo resistor sensor. So for my part I'll be explaining about the MEMS piezo resistor sensor. For the principle of operation, when no flows occurs, the catalytic resistance remains constant and when water flows, it will affect by it will be affected by the drag force. So the drag force bends the cantilever in an x direction by an amount equal to the difference of x which causes strain to the cantilever roots and this alters the cantilever resistance. This acts as a bending moment on the cantilever roots. So the diagram here shows how water flows affects the cantilever. When water flows occurs, you can see here, the drag force causes the cantilever to bend toward x direction. This results in the amount of strain uh, which, causes, uh, which is caused by the drag force applied by the water flow. Uh, so here is the simulation where you can see uh, it is simulated as a drag force applied. So this is all for my part here. I'm going to explain about means and fabrication simulation. So there are four main layout to our ANSYS design. The first layout is poly zero that is colored as orange and the second layout is poly one which is colored as red and the third, third layout is colored as grey and named as poly two and our final layout is oxide and which is colored as blue. So uh, the width and height for the poly zero is 100 micrometer and the height is 50 micrometer and for poly 2 is 10 micrometer and the height is 5 micrometer for the oxide layer the micrometer is 90 it is about 50 micrometer there are five different materials we use for our NC design which are pure silicon silicon handle gold phosphorus and silicon dioxide so the elastic module portion ratio and density for pure silicon and silicon handle are always same and for the silicon dioxide the GPA is 6.63 uh, for gold is 7.9 times uh, 1010 and for the phosphorus is 4.8 times uh, 1010 thank you hi so I will continue to another part where I will explain on the date process definition and 3d model for our project design we have 11 step which contain deposition implantation patterning and etching we use five dif different materials which are silicon handle, pure silicon, silicon dioxide, phosphorus and lastly is gold. So this is the 3D model that we have generated. The dotted line indicates the cross section line and this is what we got we can obtain from the cross section line. Okay. So from the bottom bottom is the silicon handle, silicon dioxide, pure silicon phosphorus and at the top is the goal okay next we move to NCIS engineering data geometry model and setup for the project simulation so this is the analysis system including the engineering data geometry model setup solution results and parameters okay for engineering data we need to include our five materials for geometry, we import our IGS file that we have designed on LEDIT. We have added a fit support also applied pressure on the plane so it can simulate if they have uh, water flowing through the piezo-resistive sensor. For pressure, we set to 1000 Pascal and this is the 2D wireframe model that generated by AutoCAD. And these two model is generated by space claim and stated its dimension as well. Alright, next for my part, I will be explaining about the NC solution and results. During the NC simulation, pressure which is used as a substitute for drag force is applied at the tip of the piezo resistor sensor or the cantilever. So this will cause the cantilever to bend, which is recorded uh, in the unit strain. When more pressure is applied, the strain will increase. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, the strain uh, is recorded in two different types uh, of applied force. So for the first one, the small force which is 1000 until 500 and the next one which is uh, a larger uh, applied force is used. So this result shows that when the amount of pressure increases, the, all, the amount of strain will also increase and in piezo resistance sensor when strain increases the amount of resistance will also increase so uh, that is all for this part so get on to the next part I'm going to talk about one of the problems 
in our compass not only in our compass in around the world also the leakage in average household can be cause a nearly 10000 grams of the water to go waste every year common leak are listed above are easy to spot but the hidden one can cause more damage and wastage when a leaking pipe occur in the campus in our university it a uh, waste valuable water not only can this increase the cost of your bills but it's also a price to pay environmentally million of liter of water are leaking on a daily basis in malaysia this wasted water can be often not be recycled or reused the in cost leak can easily be fixed or spotted it earlier on united nations sustainability development goals that we chosen is number 7 11 6 number 7 is effort and cleaning energy number 11 is sustainability and communities number 6 is clean water and sanitation water is the scarce and valuable resources under the increasing stress and sustainability water management not only protect the environment Early leak detection allows you to take a pre-emective action to stop the water wastage. Apart from helping conserve water, pre-piezoelectric resistor sensor come with many health, safety, and uh, cost benefit. Some of those uh, additional benefit include the incorrect leak can easily be fixed if spotted earlier on. In such cases, the visual sensor can be exactly what you need to help you conserve water and aid in the question of the sustainability living. So that's all for our presentation today. So thank you sir.